Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face using only drugstore products and this is going to be a summer proof, heat proof makeup look. I'm mainly going to focus on the face. I'm not going to do anything on the eyes today really. Probably just pop on some lashes and call it a day. I'm going to be using only drugstore products in this video. This is going to be a video that you should watch, especially now that it's summer. You're going to want to follow these steps to the T. These steps are going to allow your makeup to stay on all day. You're not going to have to do any touch-ups whatsoever. These products that, that I'm going to be using today, I know are products that will work. They're products that are going to stay on throughout the whole day and they're going to look good most importantly. Before we get into the video, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, also ring the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the makeup. So for starters, you really want to protect your skin over the summer. You don't want your skin to be damaged from the sun, nothing, especially me, I'm very fair. And I'm not the only fair one out there. So you really want to protect your skin. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen. I get the 100 plus SPF because I am trying to protect my skin from the sun. But I spray this on my chest, pretty much all over my body, but specifically my chest because, you know, people, and me included, wear like these off the shoulder type of tops over the summer. So I'm going to spray some on my chest. You guys are going to see like how glowy it really does make your skin look. This is actually what I use in all my videos. I've gotten a lot of questions on what I use on my skin, on my chest area, and this is what it is. I literally use this. Sometimes I throw in some like highlighter, like today I threw in some highlighter. But other than that, I normally just use this. Do you see that? You literally look like, like wet. Like you look so cute. It's like the best. I'm going to link all the prices down below so you guys can see how much everything costs. But it is so good. So worth it. Moving on from that, I'm going to prime my skin. I'm starting off with my skin first today because that is our main focus of the video. So first I'm going to use the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining anti-shine base this is the matte base and I've never used this one before but I've heard a lot of great things of this primer so I'm gonna use that to fill in my pores and I'm gonna use this mainly wherever I get oily so I get oily here on my nose sometimes on my chin too this primer feels really nice actually it feels it's more lotiony it doesn't have like that dimethicone silicone feeling which I don't personally like that because to me, it just makes my skin feel really heavy, and it, I feel like it makes my makeup look cakey, especially on the nose, so this feels really, really nice. Next, I'm going to go in with the Milani Prime Perfection Primer. This is the hydrating one. Like I said, go in with whatever you feel like your needs are. If you're oily all over, go in with just that matte primer, and you'll be fine. I get really dry on my outer face like if I and I'm using a matte foundation today so I do need to like hydrate I've already moisturized my face with my moisturizer but I need to hydrate even further because if I don't it's gonna look cakey it's not gonna look good so the hydrating primer I'm more so pressing into my skin I'm not rubbing it in by the way guys look at my nails aren't they so cute if you're in the SoCal area, LA area, O-C-I-E, please check this girl out. She's so good. Her name is Ultra Glossy Nails on Instagram. I'll leave it linked up here somewhere. Um, she's so good. So bomb. She does house calls if you don't want to drive over here to her. Does whatever you want. She literally has everything under the sun. So hit her up. Go follow her on Instagram. So I'm going to be using this new NYX Bear With Me setting mist. This is a prime set and refresh. This is a hydrating spray. If you don't want to hydrate, I have this Milani Make It Last Matte Finishing Spray. Um, this is, it says 16 hour wear, but I'm going to save this one to the end. So right now, I'm locking in my primers with the setting mist, and I'm just going to choose. I'm using the next one because this is just the one I want to use. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. This foundation is really, really good. I've used this foundation before, actually. It's a really good foundation from the drugstore. Let's see the claims really quick. It says it is a full coverage foundation up to 24-hour wear, which I'm not wearing it for 24 hours, so I can't really test that out. A seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, oil-free, doesn't clog pores, dermatologist tested. 
So, I mean, the claims are there. Like I said, you wanna use a matte foundation only because it is gonna be hot. So, this is the foundation I'm using today. I my base feels pretty good now. I have like a nice little sticky base situation going on. That's another thing too. You kind of want your base to be tacky, sort of, not too tacky where it's like impossible to work with. I want your foundation base to be tacky because it'll allow your foundation to stay on all day. I'm gonna do my Morphe M446 brush, which is my favorite foundation brush, like I've said in the past. And I'm going to really just pack the product on into the brush. Well, right off the bat, she is full coverage. And like I said, I've used this foundation before. So I know it's bomb. I know it is. It's full coverage, but it's not giving me like ugly full coverage. You guys know what I mean? Finally able to get my hands on the elf, this elf sponge that everybody raves about. Like I've been wanting to get it in yesterday. I finally found it. It's really real technique like shape vibe I mean as you can see but the feeling is not real technique this one actually feels super super soft so I'm gonna use that like I always do I'm gonna grab product on the sponge and I'm just gonna continue to like dabble it on my face but now I'm just basically smoothing out the product like, everyone raves about this sponge like everybody is talks about it I always see everybody using it but we'll see if it lives up to the hype be using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I use, I use this in my full face of drugstore makeup. It's like a little close to my skin tone. I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit with the other shade I have. I have the shade Eggshell 325. I'm gonna go in with the shade Eggshell just to kind of brighten, make a little bit lighter. I'm gonna blend everything out again using my e.l.f. blending sponge. So I'm gonna set everything with powder now. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is the shade 05 Fair Claire, or Fair and Claire I think is the French term for it. And I'm also gonna be using shade number 10 Fair Light because I use Fair Claire underneath my eyes, or Fair <laughs> underneath my eyes, and I use shade Fair Light on the rest of my face. I always set my powders with a sponge, but if you do it right now, Especially during the summer, it's gonna make your makeup last all day. Excuse me, that first sip filling for real. It's like. Let me get my goofy ass back into the video. I'm using my Morphe sponge. This is my favorite sponge. Honestly, using this e.l.f. one, it's nice. The texture is super nice on this one, I'm not gonna lie. But I still prefer my Morphe sponge. It's just. It's better to me. I like it. It feels softer to me. This one's a brand new one, like right out the case. So it's a little stiff, but once you like wash it, and I wash my sponges after every use. So once you wash it, it actually softens up. So with each wash, honestly, the more broken in the better. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade Fair. So like I've said in previous videos, I don't bake. I'm gonna bake my nose because that's where I get oily. I don't ever bake, that method just does not agree with me. I don't feel like baking is necessary. Honestly, if you press the powder into your skin, that's good enough. You're gonna have a really nice finish and your makeup's gonna last all day. I do this method all the time, even if it's super cold, super hot, whatever the weather is, I do this method and my makeup always lasts. I've used this powder in the past, but I don't, I never used it enough where I remember it, like how it, how it performs and it's actually really really good wow i'm low-key shook i might use this honestly like regular regular day. even though i have my holy girl powder already but this one's super nice wow i'm shook, I'm shook. so here on the nose this is where i get the most oily so wherever you get the most oily follow this step saturate your sponge or whatever you're using to apply your powder, but I really do recommend a sponge because it's really gonna press it into the skin and literally just keep pouncing until the powder is not there anymore. So now I'm gonna take the shade Fair Light number 10 of the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. 
Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I was literally like aggressively shaking so powder could come out and my dumbass didn't realize that this is literally still taped on. <sighs> now I'm gonna take the flat side of my sponge and I'm just going to press it on the rest of my face. So keep in mind that this powder is not a like straight translucent powder. It does have a tint to it. So keep that in mind. They have different shades. And the shade range is pretty good. So pretty easy to find your shade. Okay, so next is another powder. I know. Don't kill me. It's another powder. You may feel powdery already. I feel very, very powdery, but you really need to powder up to lock in your foundation. This is a key step, and this is the type of brush you wanna use for this next powder. I'm using a more BE6, which is a flat top type of brush. Use a flat top brush, because you really wanna press the powder. You could also, now I'm thinking about it, you can use your sponge, but I'm using a brush because the sponge is gonna like press like way more powder, and I don't need that. So, you want a matte powder. This is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. This powder is a really, really good powder. I used to use this like back in the day. Well, I'm saying back in the day as if I'm like super old, but I used to use this when I first started doing my makeup because I was more greasy back then. It works, it works. This is the shade 001 Transparent. I'm gonna take it on this, the brush and I'm literally just gonna press it on my whole entire face so any matte like any matte pressed powder you would like to use they have a ton I just prefer this one next I want to lock in the powders because I don't want a super cakey look so before I bronze and everything I'm gonna go back in with my bear with me setting spray by NYX again at this actually at this moment you could take your matte setting spray as well i'm just saving this one to the very very end because i want the powders to melt into my skin i don't want the i don't want a super matte matte vibe yet so i'm taking the next one for right now so i'm actually gonna move into brows now this is the ColourPop brow boss pencil i actually really really like this pencil when i first used it my full face of affordable slash drugstore products i'm gonna do a quick fill really quick just fill them in. I've already done kind of like explanation on how I do my brows, but basically I kind of just like start in the middle of the brow and I move my pencil backward. And then I bring it forward like this. And then I'm, I just start again in the middle, up top, and then I just pencil them in. I'm gonna move on to the eyes really quick. Eyes are not gonna be anything special because since I'm focusing more on the face, I'm just gonna do something really quick. I'm just gonna use my bronzer. This is my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Take a Morphe E22 and literally just gonna dust this all over my lid. This is like in my, the ride or die makeup tutorial I did. I think I did the exact same steps. I literally just did this on my eye. I might take a contour shade if I really feel like it. So I'm going to take this LA Girl Bright Beam Babe Palette and I'm going to use this contour shade. This one right here. I'm just going to blend it in my crease. So if you don't have this like a contour shade or anything, just um, use like a cheap eyeshadow or you know, just try and like work with what you have. It doesn't have to be these exact products. At the end of the video, I will let you guys know what is necessary in this video to make your makeup last. But, as far as the eyes and stuff, you could like play around, do whatever you want for the eyes. So next, I'm going to move on to my bronzer. I'm going to be using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Taking my fluffy brush. This is my Morphe JH02 brush. And I'm just going to hack some bronzer onto my brush. And just sweep her on. I know this looks like a lot of bronzer, but once everything's like things on, everything's gonna look good. So going in with my R14 brush, my Morphe, I'm gonna dip into a little bit of that contour shade that was in that LA Girl palette, the one we did on our eye. I'm just gonna like lightly dust. Okay, so I'm gonna take the 
Morphe sponge again. I'm gonna dip into the fair light shade of the Maybelline powder. I'm just gonna bake right here. For highlight, I have the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is in the shade Molten Rose Gold. I'm gonna use this one today. I'm also gonna use the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Flexitarian. I love this one. This one's more like I have to apply with my finger, so I'm gonna go with the Maybelline one first. Taking my Morphe M510 brush, or M501. This is like one of the best like drugstore highlighters you could get, honestly. So good. There's actually a lot of like drugstore highlights that are really good right here these are just all the areas i like to highlight you don't have to follow this exactly you could do honestly whatever you please whatever like tickles your pickle but this is what i like to do so i'm gonna take a tiny brush this is my morphe 36 this is like my favorite nose highlighting and cupid's bow highlighting brush this is a good brush because it's so tiny and gets like right in the crevice. Take the Super Shock Cheek in the shade Flexitarian from ColourPop. So I'm gonna dab it on. I'm gonna dab it on first and then I'm gonna go with the brush and kind of like blend it on. So I'm gonna take that same brush and just kind of blend it in with everything. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take that same brush again and I'm gonna dust off the bake. So like I always do, I literally am just gonna like blend it upward into the bronzer because I just do that to give it more of a blended appearance. I'm gonna take the um, the Flexitarian shade from ColourPop and I'm actually gonna take it on my E36 brush and I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. Oh my God, I did I just do that? I literally just dug into it. I'm so triggered, look at this. <sighs> so I'm gonna take some on my E36 and then I'm just gonna pop it in the inner corner. So I'm actually gonna apply some mascara really quick to my lashes. This is the L'Oreal Luminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Love this mascara. Or Voluminous Lash Paradise, I said Luminous. The Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I love this mascara so much. I'm just gonna apply some on my lashes before I apply my lashes. So I'm gonna apply my blush channel. I actually have two different options. I honestly don't know why I bought these two things, so I think it like the shade is in here. But I have the Milani Flowers of Love Powder Rose Powder Blush Palette, which is so gorgeous. I bought it because I'm like a big stickler for blush. Like I just love blush so much. And I also got the Milani T Rose Powder Blush. And basically, I think it's like the same exact shade as the middle shade. But I take my MAC 129 brush, I'm gonna saturate on. Let's see how this looks. I've never tried this Milani blush. I've tried like the baked blushes from Milani, which I really do like. So I'm curious to see how this one performs. <laughs> I just want to hit everywhere with the blush. You have more of like a little stunk moment. Mm, moment, mm, moment. Mm. Blush is pretty. I like it. Gorge. Honestly, just the Milani stuff in general is all bomb. Like all of it is bomb. I'm actually gonna pop on some lashes really quick. So I'm gonna let the glue dry on my lashes, which is what I pretty much always do. So I'm gonna take my LA Girl Perfect. Precision lip liner. This is not the retractable one. This is just like the wooden pencil one and I'm going this is in the shade sugar and spice And we're just gonna line my lips really quick. This is the L'Oreal color Riche Ultra nude lipstick This is shade 984. It's so pretty Yes, I'm going with the nude today Because I feel like it. Ooh, this lip combo Even though this is a matte lipstick it still feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel like drying or anything. Honestly, drugstore lipsticks are the way to go. Like really, because you get some really, really, really good options at the drugstore when it comes to shades. And they're just, they feel really nice. And honestly, I like how drugstore lipsticks smell. It's so weird. So my lash glue seems pretty dry now. I'm gonna pop on my lashes. These are the Kiss Lashes in the Style Ga Gala. These kiss slashes, I don't know. They're just really not it for me. 
<sighs> sad life. Cause I really, they look so pretty in the, you know, the component. It just doesn't like read the same. I'm really losing my patience with these lashes. I'm gonna pop on some brow gel really quick. This is my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is just in a clear shade. You could also use a tinted brow gel, which I think would be actually better because it'll really set your brows in place and it won't melt your brows off. This is my e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. This is in the shade Pink Cosmo. Glosses from e.l.f. though, they're bomb. The lip plumping ones are so good. These lashes from Kiss, I'm really not digging. It's just like, I feel like they're just not working. Like the band is not flexible whatsoever. The last and final step that you want to do to set in your makeup, like for real set it in, is set it with a setting spray. I'm going to use two different ones. Not necessary to use two different ones. I just personally like it because I feel like it makes my makeup last longer and it, it prevents me having to touch up or every so often. I normally don't ever touch up and this makeup actually is like touch up proof. Like I really don't have to touch up period. For setting spray today, this is the first setting spray I'm using. This is the Milani Make It Last Matte Setting Spray. This claims to have a 16 hour wear. We'll see about that. Well, I'm not even going to be awake for 16 more hours, but I'll see how it lasts me the other day, and I'll put it down in the description below how this makeup lasts me for the rest of the day. I literally want to put so much setting spray on your face, like you look like you just stepped out the shower, because you want the setting spray to really mount to your skin. You can use your fan, or you could just sit around, but I like using the fan because it just makes my process a little bit easier that spray smells bomb it smells like a spa it smells so good the other setting spray i'm going to go in with is the morphe continuous setting mist this one this one isn't super affordable but it is still on the affordable side of ulta so i'm putting this one in there because i just love this one this one really makes my makeup last all day i love a spritzer too just the best it's the best um, but that Milani Make Last Setting Spray, like my face feels matte. Like it feels like, you know that feeling you get when you have a lot of like powder on and like you feel like you can't move your face? That's the feeling I'm getting with the Milani one. So that one's actually really good. Check that one out. All right guys, so this completes my look of my heat proof, sweat proof, summer proof makeup tutorial using only drugstore products. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I think the skin came out bomb. I will say the products you definitely need, you don't need the exact same brand of products, the exact same things, but I will say what's essential is a matte setting spray, a mattifying primer for sure, also a matte foundation and a matte setting powder. I would say those four things are essential. The loose powder is not really necessary. It's up to your preference, like whatever powder you do like setting your face with, whether it be pressed or loose, it doesn't matter. Anything that says matte and it's a powder you definitely need, especially over the summer, you're gonna definitely need a matte powder. Another thing that you do need is a nice setting spray. That Milani matte setting spray, it smells incredible. My face actually feels like matte. Like it feels really tight. Like my face is, she's B, like B. Use whatever tools you want. I use mostly Morphe brushes. I only dibbled into my MAC brush which is like the blush brush that I always use. The L'Oreal Valbo Full Wear, it's a nice concealer. It's not my favorite concealer though. I would recommend another affordable concealer. I do like the Makeup Revolution concealer. I also do like the L16 Hour Wear Concealer. I believe it's like the Camo Concealer or something like that. That one's a really good one. So the L'Oreal one is not at the top of like my like affordable conceal list. Like I said, the foundation, I like the finish. I think it looks beautiful on my skin. It doesn't look too cakey at all. It actually looks gorgeous. The Maybelline setting powders though, those are a hit, honestly. I hadn't used them in such a long time, only because I'm so used to like using my high-end products that I feel like I used them a couple times and I was just like, hmm, like, I kind of just like threw them off to the side, like didn't really pay attention to them. But they're actually really, really good. But I really do recommend that loose powder. Also, that Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. You're going to want to get a powder like that. There's, um, I believe Flower Beauty makes a matte powder, a matte translucent pressed powder. Wet n Wild has one. Milani has one. 
I think Essence has one. There's a lot of brands that have those types of pressed powders. I just like the Roma one because it's not like a stark white powder. It has a little bit of a tint. It says translucent, but it does have like a tint to it, like I said. Like I showed in my video, see what I mean? It has a little bit of a tint. Oh, you definitely also need the sponges. The sponges are essential to, you know, blending in the powder. I personally, and I'm saying this because I know I've used both different method methods before. I've used applying powder with a brush and I've used applying powder with a sponge. Applying powder with a sponge has always made my makeup last. I've never had to touch up as much as I had to touch up with a powder. And also too, it's like I could literally run my fingers across my skin and nothing's gonna come off. See what I mean? Like it's just, it's, Foolproof. The elf sponge wasn't too crazy about. I honestly don't really care too much about it. I like the shape of it and I like the flatness of it right here, but I don't like it like as much as I like my Morphe one. Like the Morphe one is just my ride or die. She's always gonna stick with me. She's gonna be there for me through thick and thin. I like her because she's able to cut the cheeks. She's able to press in the powder. And she's also able to blend a concealer. Like everything about the Morphe sponge is bomb to me. Also, another thing you actually need is the sunscreen. This is key. Like this sunscreen is freaking bomb. This is it. This is it. Like I sprayed it in the beginning of the video. It's kind of wearing off now, but I mean, just reapply if you really want to. <sighs> Those are my recommendations of this specific tutorial. Guarantee you, if you follow these steps, your makeup's gonna last. You're not gonna have to touch up. You're not going to sweat through. You're not going to have oils break through. Your makeup will last the entire day. And most importantly, it was all drugstore. Another thing I don't recommend, actually, are these lashes. Just don't. Like, Kiss Lashes, like, ugh, I like the, like, wispier ones. But for me, I need more of a dramatic lash. Because I'm so used to that. And I feel like if I just do, like, normal wispies, it's just... Love how they look, but they're just, like, the bad. I had issues with it. So, I would skip on the lashes. Everything else... I really enjoyed these products. These products I do recommend in the video. Like I said, don't have to be these products. Just follow the steps. I'm telling you if you follow the steps, everything will work out for you. Nothing's gonna go breaking. Nothing's gonna break through. Nothing's gonna sweat through. You're gonna be golden for the whole day. Golden, I guarantee you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you like how the makeup turned out. Please don't forget to like this video. Also comment down below. Let me know what products that I use are some products that you have at home already. What products have you tried already? Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a good one. Bye.